The Game Changer Model 2 Tesla $25,000 is precisely what it will take all the spotlight in the 2025 EV race with its insane charging speed. Yeah, just 10 minutes by using the advanced 15% LFTP battery technology from Cattle. Information confirmed by CEO Zhang. What's more exciting, Tesla will bring this battery production technology for the Model 2 to the Nevada factory to keep that $7,500 federal tax credit intact. Now, this next-gen vehicle only has one major barrier left to become the best EV in 2025. So, what's holding Elon from reaching the Model 2 sooner? The start of the next-generation compact vehicle production to Austin. Has the timeline improved so that we might see the next-generation platform vehicles in 2025? Initially, apart from the attractive price point of this car, we often didn't hold the Tesla electric vehicle for the mass market price to $25,000 soon to be released in high regard. It's commonly referred to as the Model 2. We've researched and compared the leaked technical specifications of it with existing or upcoming electric vehicles on the market. And to speak of a significant impression, indeed, there hasn't been one. The bits of information, specs about the Model 2 always surface briefly, then sink to the bottom of the ocean without anyone knowing. Put simply, there's nothing that makes the Model 2 stand out, and there's nothing indicating that it could sell millions as Musk claims. Of course, not everyone shares this perception, as there are still many curious about it. However, recent revelations from China's leading battery manufacturer, Cattle, Tesla's top partner, suggest that we, and many others, may have been completely wrong in underestimating this next-gen EV. Specifically, the Model 2 will be the most affordable electric vehicle with the best nationwide performance thanks to an upgraded battery technology that's 15% more efficient. This upgrade allows the Model 2 to charge fully in 15 minutes even when it's snowing outside. Now, let us explain. For the Model 2, according to the CEO of Cattle, they're collaborating with Tesla to provide batteries that allow for much faster charging than the current battery type used in the Model 3 rear-wheel drive. This new generation of battery is the LFP type. It's not the popular models like the Model Y or Model 3, but rather the Model 2 that's considered the top contender for Cattle's new battery type. CEO Zhang of Cattle believes that they can help Tesla achieve the goal of reducing production costs for the Model 2, making $25,000 a car more feasible, and the new battery is considered one of the crucial factors contributing to this price commitment. He shares that there's always room for cost reduction, depending on what the $25,000 car's aim is. If it's for robo-taxis, we don't have to worry about the cost reduction for each cell, as our batteries have a longer life cycle, and their average cost is actually lower. Looking back at the leaked initial specs, Model 2 will feature a 53 kilowatt hour battery from Cattle, specifically their excellent LFP battery. This will be sufficient to travel around 250 miles and charge from 10 to 80% in about 25 minutes. However, electric vehicles such as the BYD Dolphin, Volkswagen ID2, MG MG4, Peugeot E308, Citroen EC3, Kia EV2, and Renault 5, along with some other models, all have nearly similar technical specifications with approximately similar prices, especially when considering that $25,000 price tag of the Model 2 which seems to include government tax incentives. However, now we can believe that Tesla might not use the LFP battery type, but instead opt for a superior upgrade dubbed Shengxing. These batteries are the fastest charging LFP cells in the world, developed to perform better in cold weather conditions. They can charge at a rate of 4C or 4 times the discharge current, meaning they can go from 10 to 80% in just 10 minutes or fully charge from empty in only 15 minutes. Being an LFP cell instead of lithium-ion, Shenzhen also boasts a longer lifespan with over a thousand charging cycles, meaning this battery could be used for at least 200,000 miles. This is indeed crucial for affordable electric vehicles, as battery replacement concerns could deter buyers. Unlike many fast-charging supercells, LFP Shenzhen is not just a pipe dream, and it's certainly poised to become a reality in Tesla's next-gen EV. Production of these batteries has commenced, and deliveries to electric vehicle manufacturers are expected to begin later this year, while the Model 2 could see some limited releases by late next year, 2025. However, we still don't know the price of these batteries. Being an LFP cell, Shenzhen could be considerably cheaper than lithium-ion cells, but their fast charging capabilities come at a cost. Therefore, they are expected to be priced at around $100 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Elon Musk has said that a range of 300 miles is enough for daily driving without worrying about the supercharger network. 
and most Tesla vehicles aim for that goal, depending on the variant. The battery capacity listed by Tesla for Model 2 may end up being smaller and insufficient to achieve a range of 300 miles on a single charge. Evercore analysts currently predict that the Tesla Model 2 will have an operating range of 250 miles from the approximately 53 kilowatt hour battery pack mentioned, although it's said to be about 30% lighter than the Model 3. However, reducing the driving range by 50 miles is a trade-off that many people might be willing to accept if the final price of the Tesla Model 2 hovers around 25 grand before any potential credits or tax incentives. All the impressive charging speed information about Tesla's third-generation $25,000 electric vehicle has been disclosed by the CEO of Cattle, and Tesla is planning to bring the electric vehicle component manufacturing process back to the U.S., utilizing the most advanced battery technology available today. Previously, there were rumors that Cattle would provide equipment and technology to Tesla to expand battery production at Giga Nevada. While there is a similar project between Ford and Cattle, Cattle Tesla clearly aims for more dependence in its own manufacturing plant at Nevada, especially concerning regulations and those $7,500 federal tax credit benefits. The advantage of iron phosphate LFP chemistry is its ability to produce cheaper and safer battery packs, despite having lower energy density. However, this can be offset by their ability to be safely fully charged each time, and Cattle's M3P technology, with added manganese, could increase the energy density of phosphate cells by up to 15%. Cattle quotes a charging time of 15 minutes, but that's typical between 20 and 80%. However, the big benefit of the new battery technology seen in the Model 2 is its ability to fully charge in half an hour, even in freezing weather conditions, as demonstrated in that recent cold snap in Chicago. Besides cattle technologies, Tesla may also need to support their rapidly LFP battery production in the United States if it wants the Model 2 to qualify for the full $7,500 federal tax credit for the new electric car. How many rivals does the Tesla Model 2 need to surpass? We obviously are, we are working on a low-cost electric vehicle that will be made in very high volume. Um, we're like, quite far advanced in that work. We are discussing this, assuming the Tesla Model 2 indeed catches the promised release timeline at 2025 by Elon. This event could mark a turning point in the mass adoption of electric vehicles, as the affordable Tesla Model 2 will begin to face increasingly fierce competition, not just from one, but up to three major competitors, Ford, GM, Volkswagen, and NIL. These three new electric vehicle models from these competitors revealed will significantly accelerate the race alongside Model 2. At this time, if Model 2 is too weak, in other words, lacking investment, it'll definitely lag behind its competitor cars in the same price range. While Tesla's ramping up production to meet the promised timeline for the release of its first modern electric car, other automakers are also working tirelessly to ensure their products don't fall too far behind. So, which product will be weighed against Tesla's $25,000 EV? Amid the anticipation and excitement in the electric car market, General Motors' upcoming Chevrolet Bolt EV 2025 is garnering attention with promising significant improvements. Set to debut by the end of 2025 or early 26, as predicted by CEO Mary Barra, the Chevy Bolt Gen 2 is expected to embody the characteristics of a bright future, along with an enticing price point, ranging from $25 to $30,000. One of the most notable changes in the Bolt EV 2025 is its new platform, signifying a shift to GM's modern Ultium platform. This flexible design is optimized to accommodate various types of electric vehicles, coupled with the use of lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries. The Bolt EV 2025 not only enhances cost effectiveness, but also prolongs the lifespan of the battery. While there's no precise estimate on the range yet, the Bolt EV 2025 is poised to surpass the current model's range by a significant margin. With a combination of the Altium platform and advanced battery technology, the vehicle is likely to achieve a range of at least 247 miles, similar to the previous version. In 2023, Tesla found itself somewhat overshadowed by the electric dominance of BYD from China. Now, NIO could emerge as a new contender, making Tesla wary with its product, the NIO Firefly. This vehicle has indeed appeared in covertly captured photos, showcasing what seems to be a tall hatchback or a compact crossover under camouflage. NIO's founder, Lee, mentioned in an interview that they're not only releasing an affordable electric car, but also launching it globally, including in Europe with a price tag below 30,000 euros. The starting price point in China could be nearly half of Europe at $15,000, and it'll hit the global market in third quarter 2025. 
This means the Model 2 will have to compete with the Chinese car in every market, where Giga Berlin will also participate in producing the Model 2 for that market. Meanwhile in the US, Ford is also not letting the Tesla Model 2 release smoothly as the manufacturer plans to unveil a yet-to-be-named budget flagship, which will also be a compact crossover assembled in the US with the LFP batteries. Ford's cheapest EV will also be priced at around $25,000, but it'll hit the market in 2026 after the Model 2 is released in 2025. Not only releasing the $25,000 SUV, but Ford is also rumored to be working on a compact pickup truck sharing the same production platform as their SUV. Ford's aiming to increase production, so the first electric vehicle to come out of the project might be the compact SUV, followed by an electric pickup truck. Since these two electric vehicles share the same platform, it's entirely conceivable that when the electric compact pickup truck finally emerges, it'll be priced at around $25,000, similar to a compact electric SUV. Therefore, Model 2 shouldn't be too complacent regarding Jim Farley and Ford's plans. Finally, but no less importantly, the world's third largest car electric manufacturer continues to lower prices to $22,000 for a small electric car, namely the Volkswagen ID.1. This car will be sized similarly to the current Polo but is expected to debut in 2027. We believe this could be a major competitor to the Model 2 because if the Tesla electric car is delayed beyond 2025, it won't be until 2027 that it can be widely sold. Not stopping there, Volkswagen will also introduce the larger Volkswagen ID.2 All with a range of 280 miles. Of course, this car is expected to debut earlier in 2026, but may have a starting price of around $25,000. Despite all this potential competition, Tesla's Model 2 is still expected to likely lead the race for affordable electric cars in the market due to its reputation and the large community of electric vehicle enthusiasts passionate about Tesla worldwide. The car is expected to sell like hotcakes because many people are still curious to explore what a cheap electric car from a luxury brand includes. Moreover, its price point along with federal or state tax credit incentives could potentially overshadow everything. Meanwhile, Elon's been noted saying that Model 2 will be a revolution in low-cost manufacturing, and analysts expect that Tesla produces at least 500,000 Model 2 vehicles in 2026 alone. However, Tesla will face challenges from the world's largest car manufacturer, BYD, which has already sold some models in the same price range. Why is Model 2 released later than expected? And I think the, the, the revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car uh, will blow people's minds. Although Elon Musk has confirmed that the $25,000 Model 2 debuts in 2025 and detailed analyses of production lines and facilities have been made, after analysis visited Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, this plan seems likely to change. According to them, the narrative of this affordable car is shifting to 2027, as the scheduled launch in 2025 becomes increasingly improbable. Over the past years, Tesla has experienced significant growth in production deliveries, but now Wall Street's beginning to doubt the sustainability of this growth. Despite Tesla publicly communicating to investors about the transition from two major growth waves as they developed next-generation vehicles, analysts at Evercore believe that this story won't truly unfold until 2027, according to a new note to investors. Tesla plans to begin production of the new Model 2 by late 2025, but Evercore suggests that significant growth will occur two years later, meaning this $25,000 model will truly explode in 2027 rather than before. Chris McNally of Evercore also noted that the best case scenario for production and deliveries in 2026 is around half a million units, only half of Wall Street's predictions for the same period. Therefore, Evercore expects Tesla's real growth to occur in 2027. Summarizing the specific timeline, in 2025, Tesla will begin production of the Model 2. By 2026, there will be 500,000 Model 2 units produced. And finally, by 2027, 1 million Model 2 units produced. On the other hand, analysts always predict Tesla may be able to reduce costs of Model 2 to 20 grand as production ramps up. Evercore's commentary comes just a day after Colin Lannon of Wells Fargo stated that Tesla is a growth company without growth highlighting that despite sales volume increasing by 3% in the second half of 2023 compared to the first half, prices decreased by 5%. According to the plan confirmed by Elon, Tesla will commence production of the Tesla Model 2 at the factory in Austin, but it is highly likely that production lines will be initiated in Germany, Mexico, and China at a time when these factories complete their production lines and aren't entangled with other models, except for Giga Mexico, which will take another two years to complete. The company acknowledges the need to build new factories to pursue growth plans, aiming to produce 20 million vehicles by 2030. 
Hence, Giga India is now being heavily considered. Elon Musk already teased that the Model 2 will be a revolution in low-cost car manufacturing. At one point in the early days of the Model 2 development, dubbed Project Redwood, Tesla's engineers reportedly took apart a Honda Civic for inspiration on how to make affordable cars. In order to reach that coveted $20,000 Model 2 price of manufacturing, however, Tesla is likely to part with some specs and features it's now known for. As per McNally, first to go might be the glass roof that Tesla now installs on all its vehicles. However, what might leave some wondering is whether Model 2 will roll out without fully autonomous driving hardware, FSD. There are rumors that Tesla will have HW5 FSD accessories ready to launch alongside the affordable car next year, but McNally's team currently believes it could be an option. They estimate the cost of the next generation computer, camera, and FSD sensor package to rise to $3,000 which would significantly increase the production cost of the Model 2. Of course, ultimately, everything will be revealed in due time. And 2025 is indeed worth the weight of a masterpiece. What do you think about the battle of cheap EVs over the next couple years? And how do you feel about Tesla's next-gen EV? We appreciate your thoughts. If you want to see more analyses videos in the Tesla $25,000 EV Model 2, then check out our similar videos right here on Tesla's Car World channel. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching our video. If you did, hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.